So once you're happy with your storyboard, it's time to start filling in the details. So you can do this in one of two ways. So first of all, you can click on the card and underneath where it says hidden fields, you can start filling in um, the blanks. So for example, content type, um, I think this was a video. So I'm gonna select that as a content type as a video and the whether it's an activity or not. So this is an, um, a learning activity. So I'm gonna put no, um, it's not assessed and it's not an activity. And this should take them approximately 10 minutes to watch and the content already exists. So at the moment, um, it's not um, started. So I'll just add that as a to do. And also I will assign myself to that. And there we go. Uh, the other way to do it is under list of activities. Um, so for example here, who likes tea is a discussion. So the content type is going to be presented as a text. I think it's going to be an activity. Yep. Yeah. So activity type, uh, let's have a look. We'll choose discussion. Again, this one's not assessed, but I think it might take them about 60 minutes. Uh, that content doesn't exist yet. Um, it's not in progress, so I'll just add it to to do. So you need to do that for all the cards and make sure that all these um, columns are filled in. Another way that you can add cards. So, for example, if you wanted someone to contribute to the Airtable that doesn't have access, um, you can actually um, input the cards via this form here. So to send that, you can click on share form and to preview that form, let's give you an example. You would send this URL and they could start adding um, topics in, in that way. And then once you've started filling in the details, um, you can have a look at these uh, final three views, um, which are quite useful when you start developing um, the project or the course unit. So under study budget, um, all your activities are grouped by topics and you can see how long each topic um, is currently. So at the moment, topic one, is 10 minutes and topic two is an hour. So if you're designing a course unit that's 10 credits, then you'd expect perhaps each topic to take 10 hours. So that's a nice uh, way to cross-reference how long each topic will take. Task progress, this is the to-do in progress done. So if, for example, um, when I've started to uh, design the course and I found the YouTube video, and added it to Blackboard or Rise, for example. You can move that to the done list. If I go back to list of activities, um, as you can see here, this is number two. So I can just have a look what number at number two. And this automatically updates. So all these views are linked. You're not adding data more than once. And then in this collaborator progress view, we can see who the uh, tasks are assigned to. So I might want to take this Padlet map one. I can add it here. And then going back to the list of activities and having a look at um, number three. So this is item number three. And then that's been assigned to me.